On tonight's episode of Tales from a Port Swing, I ain't on the port swing because it's cold outside. My ass can't take it no more. What I've been doing, country music, hippies, and my papa. So, I ain't been on here in a while, and I have some of y'all been messaging me and checking on me, and I appreciate that. But I sold the shop, and that's a big deal for me. I mean, hell, I've been there. 26 years i've been working there some part time but that's a big life change for me because i get in my rut and i'm just good to go i don't me and change don't do real well together so i sold that and uh i've been working some part-time stuff i've been helping a couple buddies do some remodeling stuff on some houses and then uh i took a a sales job at a company over here in black mountain called wnc automotive equipment sales so if you're in the territory from <laughs> marion to king's mountain and boom down to gastonia then you better be looking for me because i'm gonna be in there trying to sell you something and i know i've been looking up a few of you and i know that you follow my page so i'm gonna be in there hitting you up about buying some automotive equipment lifts tire changers balancers front end machines any just all that shit i know about all that i've ever worked with they had the CMA Awards here the other day, and I always call it the Crap Music Awards because I'll tell y'all something. Shitty pop music with a twang ain't country music. Luke Bryan ain't country music. He's a Gomer Powell looking fool. Florida Georgia Line ain't country music. All that shit is is just shitty pop music with a twang, and just because they sing with a twang don't make them country. It's just shitty pop music with a twang. So they had the CMA Awards, and... Man, 2020's been a shit storm here. We lost John Prine, which was a great singer-songwriter. We lost Jerry Jeff Walker, which was another great singer-songwriter. Hell, the man wrote Mr. Bojangles. Come on now. And then we lost the most outlaw of the outlaws, Billy Joe Shaver. I mean, it don't get more outlaw than shooting a dude in a bar. Come on now. And they didn't say anything about any of them dying. And this is supposed to be the Country Music Awards. Are you kidding me? Three great country musicians, and they don't say a word. They're worried about that shitty pop music with the twang that they're trying to force feed us on country music radio. I'm telling y'all, there's good country music out there. You won't hear it on many mainstream country stations. So every now and then they'll play a little bit. You'll play something, but you don't hear the good stuff on there. You gotta get you gotta get out and dig and look on the internet and go out and listen to live music when they get through with all this covid bullshit so i don't know how many of y'all are familiar with western north carolina especially the Asheville area but man i don't know where these damn people come from <laughs> but, but there's some i don't it's hard to explain these people it's like all these hippies move here and i don't know why I, they're and not all of them are liberal but a good deal of them are most of them and i don't where the hell do these people come from why can't you keep them where where they're at we don't need any more we're filled up y'all keep them wherever they're they're coming from don't send them to us so i guess a lot of y'all know i like to bear hunt i ain't like a great bear hunter and i don't just live for it but i like to do it that's kind of thing i like to do as a hobby but my buddy he was bear hunting it's been a year or two ago and him and the oh boy they'd killed they'd killed a bear and they was over in black mountain and this old hippie woman stopped and uh, they had bear laid up on the back of truck and she said do you care if i pray over this bear <laughs> and his buddy looked at her and he said yeah lady go ahead but i don't think he's gonna come back <laughs> And that damn woman prayed over that bear. I don't know what she, I don't know if she's trying to resurrect it or, or what she's trying to send it on to the spirit world. I don't know what she's getting it out of purgatory, I reckon. I don't know what she's doing, but that damn hippie woman prayed over that bear. Them fools are everywhere around here. I don't get it. I don't understand why they're here. Hell, I wish they'd keep on trucking and go find somewhere else to ruin and leave us alone. My papa, he was funny. And the older he got, 
I mean, I'm just, I'm a lot like him because I'm messy as shit. And I'll, leave, I'll pick something up and I'll just lay it down when I'm done with it. And I'll lose stuff all the time. And he was the same exact way. He'd pick shit up, put it down, he'd lose stuff all the time. Well, one time we were over at the barn and he couldn't find his pitchfork. He was trying to get some hay and he couldn't find his pitchfork. And he said, I wonder where my pitchfork's at. And I said, I don't know, you've laid it down somewhere. He said, nope, somebody stole it. I said, stole it? Stole your pitchfork? Who's going to come out here and steal a pitchfork at the barn? He said, I reckon them mean-ass boys out the road there, they come out here and stole my pitchfork. <laughs> they ain't nobody stole his pitchfork. We looked around, finally found it wherever he'd set it down at. But I'm the same way, man. I'll pick stuff up and I'll set it down. I drive myself crazy doing that. I'm just... And my youngest daughter's like that. She does the same thing, but it's it's genetic. It's just in us. There ain't nothing we can do about it. <laughs> so, I have spent a lot of time in Facebook. I did learn that you can't call somebody a pretentious motherfucker on here because they'll put you in Facebook jail. But what I have done, it made me write a song called Doing Hard Time in Facebook Jail. And I got to get the music for it because it's an original one and it's going to be a chart topper. I know that it'll go aluminum. It might even go copper on not country music radio, but maybe on internet radio <laughs> or something like that. But that's what I've been doing. I, like I said, I sold the shop. That's a big life change for me. I mean, when you ain't got to get up and go to work every day after you've spent your whole life getting up and going to work, that's a, man, that blows, that blows your mind because that's what I've always done. I just get up and go to work and I work all day. I work 10, 12 hours a day and then come home and, and I don't have to do that. And it's kind of, it's kind of blowing my mind. I don't, I don't like it, but it's just. I mean, I just always went to work. I, about three years ago, I had a heart attack at work, and I was working, and I was, people were coming in. I was talking on the phone, and this dude was standing there, and he was trying to talk to me. I'm like, man, I said, I'm, I, I'm sorry, but I got to go to the fire department. I don't feel good. I said, I'm going to have to go get checked out. I went over there, and they checked my blood pressure and everything that was out the roof. An old boy working over there, then he said, yeah, you might better go to the hospital. So they got the ambulance up there and hauled me to the hospital. They checked me all day, and sure enough, I'd had a heart attack. So I had. They sent me to Asheville, and they give me a day or two and put stents in me. And that Friday, that was on Tuesday. That Friday, they let me out of the hospital. And what did I do? As soon as I got out of the hospital and got down here, I went back to work. <laughs> I went straight to the shop because that's what you do. You just go to work. That's how I've always been. You just get up and go to work. But hopefully, doing this, I'll have a lot more time to work on my my videos and my comedy career. I'm staying out of politics <laughs> after this last election, man. I'm done with, I ain't done with politics, but I'm done talking about politics. Obviously, I missed the boat this time, I guess. And I'm, I'm done talking about politics. I'm going back to comedy and just bullshitting, <laughs> having fun. So... If you own a shop and you're in my territory, you better be watching for me because I'm coming to try to say you something because I know you need something before the end of the year so you ain't got to give the man all your money. You can write it off on your taxes. So I reckon that's about the gist of it. I guess it's time to piss on the fire and call the dogs I see on the flip.